Hi, this is Ish. Welcome to my channel. Today in the page speed optimization series, I'm going to discuss with you about a very interesting topic, render blocking resources. Yes, today in, our, in this video is about what is render blocking resources and how to fix this. I'm going to explain you very detailly about this render blocking resources. So please stay tuned. Before getting to this video, please subscribe to my channel and give your feedback and comments. Thanks for supporting. Let's get into the video. So what is render blocking resources? Before answering this question, I will show you a small process of how the web browser works on a web page to display it on the screen. It goes through six main steps. Constructing the draw, constructing the CSS home, running JavaScript and creating the render tree, and generating the layout and finally painting. The browser goes through these six main steps to paint the content on the screen. This process is called critical rendering path. So what are the resources blocking the browser's workflow is called render blocking resources. So our task is to eliminate this render blocking resources to load the web page faster and make the web page visible and interactive to the user as much as possible. Let us go through the critical rendering path process. The first step is building DOM. It is the simple element. It just passes the HTML elements, whether it's the head portion and the body, body elements like paragraph, div, text, images, and it creates the DOM based on the HTML element in your coding. And the second one is building CSS home. The first thing DOM is created based on the HTML element and the CSS home is based on building on CSS element, the style sheet. So it is created based on the style sheet, the style sheet which used to describe about the HTML elements. So it constructs the CSS home. The next thing is running JavaScript. The browser need to run the JavaScript simultaneously when it while it's creating the DOM and CSS DOM. But this here is the place when the render blocking resources occur because some of the JavaScript uh, files need the a completed DOM elements to execute. So the resource is waiting so long time to pass the, pass the HTML and execute it and it requires the element. So these are some of the resources we need to focus and want to use async or differ attribute to run the JavaScript. In, in this video, in the end of the video, I will tell you when to use async and differ attribute. After completing the DOM, CSS DOM, and executing the JavaScript, the browser finally create a render tree. The render tree combine both the HTML elements and the CSS script, CSS style and the JavaScript. So it's ready to render it. After creating the render tree, the browser generate the layout. The layout is size of viewport. The viewport size is determined by the meta viewport tag provided in the header section. If no tag is provided, the default viewport width is 980 pixel. Most commonly, the viewport value is set to the viewport size to the corresponding device width. And finally, the final part is painting. This is the first visible pixels occur on the display. And this is the major metrics which affects the page speed insight score. FCP, first content paint and FID, first input delay. First content paint is the first meaningful content occurring in the page and the first in input delay is when the interactivity 
when the user is getting information and becoming interactive and these are the two metrics we are focusing on the page speed insights to improve the website performance and this painting the whole painting process is depend upon totally depend upon the size of the dome and what style is applied to the C in your HTML and what is the size of the elements it based on these your painting delay will occur for example a complicated gradient background image will require more time than a simple solid background color so think about the simple what are the things useful for your user and for how to deliver it effectively to the user so this is our final critical rendering path the browser first runs create a dome and create the CSS home and creates runs the JavaScript parallelly how to find the rendered blocking resources it's very simple if you are running the website on PageSpeed Insight tool it will shows the error as eliminate rendered blocking resources in that you can find the list of JavaScript or CSS files which are causing the rendered blocking resources and another thing is you can test your website on webpagetest.org here check out the waterfall model in waterfall chart if you see the the resources which are rendered before the green line before the green line it shows it is the um, if there is any JavaScript or CSS file and those are the thing you need to consider for eliminate rendered blocking resources okay what is the solution for it you're having a possible solutions the first thing is use async or differ attribute for this you want to first order all the resources you have to order all the resources and you have to prioritize the resources you have to prioritize what are the resources needed in the first fold if your if your resources if you are if you need the resources at the end of the web page loading it is not nothing to use in use in, uh, executing the resource in the beginning for example if you're having map Google map on your website that is in the second fold of the website it is it is nothing to, going to uh, benefit in adding in the first fold so prioritize your resources what are the resources needed in the first fold use async or differ attribute in the JavaScript file asynchronous attribute is used whenever it is a most critical resources are used asynchronous attribute and less critical resources are used differ attribute and the next thing is use CSS media queries depending upon the device depending upon the device which the website is loaded based on this you can divide the styles and use only the particular style to load the website and the last thing is is a custom solution depending upon your website and your own preference discuss with your developer and get the solution from them i hope you would learn new things from this video and if you find it useful please share and please consider subscribe to my channel and follow me on linkedin and twitter see you on another useful video until then this is ish